moly, oh wow. I, I can't believe I'm making this video. Man, it's like nostalgia is just running through me. This rush of childhood, yahoo, is running through my veins right now because, well, <laughs> we're doing a review on a long strike. And well, I'm really excited about this guy because, well, you can blame my Nerf gun addiction on this guy. Oh, when I first laid eyes on your super succulent sniper rifle, goodness, I could not stop wanting this blaster. No, seriously, I like when I first saw this thing, I was like, this is the only thing I could think about. Oh man, oh man, nostalgia. Well, let's jump right into it. This is your core blaster. Is right here. Now, you do, when you, if you buy this new, which will cost you a fair chunk of change nowadays, $1,000 Canadian. A lot of money. Uh, <laughs> you'll get this piece of bar, the prime bar, in two pieces, which you slide through the, there's a, a, a set of holes and then you just smack in the other side and you're set. Now, it is a bolt action, I guess you could say, sniper rifle. And yeah, you get the core, the best Nerf gun look, the best barrel out there that, as far as I'm aware, is compatible with this guy only, but oh man. Super cool stuff. And the stock, which, unlike most stocks, cannot be attached to other Nerf blasters at all. And how you put that guy on is you smack in it through those two holes there. And you should get a very satisfying click. Barrel. Attaches on like so, and you get your completed long strike CS6, which is my favorite nerf blaster. Spoiler alert, my favorite. Super cool. I'm going to keep it in this form for now because it, it, my camera just cannot see the whole thing. It is that long. It used to be the longest blaster you can get, and Technically, still is. That mega gun is, well, well, barrel is adjustable, so technically it doesn't count, technically speaking. So, this is still a long, 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 long gun. It's a, it's a long gun. It's a pretty cool rifle. You also get included is two six round magazines. The old school types, so they ain't clear and they're, yeah, they're thinner on the bottom. Less texturing and stuff. And you also get 12 of your standard end strike darts. Not only darts, just end strike darts. There you have them. I only have six, so we'll use only six. And for this video, for review purposes, we are going to be using these guys as well. Yes, I'm going to be using all three different types of ammunition. Because why not? Why not? Nothing is stopping me, so why not? You also get a uh, scope thingy me do hicker. A thingy me do hicker scope thingy on the top that I don't have. So, plus, uh, well, why use that when you can get one of these suckers and completely obstruct your view? But. Okay. <laughs> Obstruct your view, but hey, now you've got an extra shot. Ah, man, have I been waiting for this. Oh, man, I've always wanted to do a YouTube video on this one, so... Yes! Yes! I'm finally here! Yes! So, yeah. To load. Pull back on the bolt. Slide. Slide in your magazine. You're good to go. For days, I and I'm, I've always I've never been quite sure, but 
Listen very carefully. Sounds kind of like a machine gun-ish, a burst machine gun, but I have no idea why it does that, it just does. And then to release, you get ampidextrous mag releases, and the mag just drops out super cleanly, might I add, and then you just forward and you're ready to go. Yeah. Very straightforward. On the barrel, you get a forward sight that just flips up like that. I like that. That is actually quite cool. Um, the storage on that is, is very nice. Very nice indeed. So yeah. Oh, almost forgot. To store it, you can shove your six round magazines, six round magazines only, into the stock. Now, it holds fairly well. But I know when the uh, when they're full, there's a little bit more tension on there, and they slip out just a little bit easier when they're full of darts. And the newer six-round magazines don't stay in as well as the old ones do. So just keep that in mind. And to enter the access hatch, which is on the top, again, pull back and slide it open to clear out any jams. I've had... I've operated one of these a couple times before, and I've had very, very few. I've jammed it about three times after firing about 100 darts. That sounds about accurate. So, yeah, you won't really be needing that. I just wanted to point it out in case. Let's head to the range and start firing darts. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay, so, before we start shooting, I would just like to say, quick shout out to the guy who uh, got me hooked up with this sweet, sweet long strike. An eBay seller called Totally Red Retro. He got this to me in two days after ordering it. And man, oh man. I'm happy because I now get to get this video out to the viewers. So Totally Rad Retro, if you're watching, thank you. And if you're not, well, thanks for the business anyway. If you want to check him out, go to eBay, search Totally Rad Retro on eBay. Find his stuff, please. I give it a thumbs up. And why am I doing the shout out now and not at the start? Well, I took the sticky note that had the... Reminder to shout out to him on Clone Trooper Bob. Just forehead. So yeah. Great. Now, because we got a super long barrel, in old school fashion, toothpicks, Sharpie with no cap, paintbrush, <laughs> as well as target darts. But starting off with lame sauce and strike darts. Here we go. Okay, moving on. Regular uh, Adventure Force waffles. Head shots for days. So close. So close, I swear. Just just pretend I caught it. Um Ah, I caught it. Yeah. First try. Right? 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 Right. Yes. That's what I expected. Alright. 
regular, uh, no, waffles, just waffles, just waffles. Ooh, that one shot well. More headshots for this. Ah, perfect. Next up, toothpick target dart. Just going to shove it up in there. La ba da da, la ba da da, la ba da da. Dropped super low. Now with the screw, you could probably see it. Uh, look in that general area. You can probably see it. Nothing. Okay. I am going to get these magazines loaded up with one dart. And then it's, you know what? You know. You know. You know. One round in the bag. Now in the chamber, paintbrush. Fire. Next. Sharpie with no cap. Fancy that, I know. Blew you out of the water. It's like I never even told you. Next. Toothpicks. I, I, uh, if you're going to shoot toothpicks out of your, uh, Nerf guns, do it with style. Use party sticks, because they have colors out of them. So now you can see pretty colors coming flying out of your Nerf blaster at two meters per second. Isn't this great? Here we go, comrades. Absolutely everywhere. Just what we wanted. All right, see you back at the bench for final thoughts. Comrades, first try. I swear, comrades, come on, eyes, eyes down here, eyes down here. Good, good, good. Toothpick. Out of here with your shenanigans. Out of here. Bad. Shame on you. Okay. Oh, man. Final thoughts on the... Oh, okay. Okay, you can tell. You can tell that I'm going to like this. You, you, you can tell already, right? Right? Okay, great. Great. Everybody cool? Everybody seated? Everybody chill? You, you, you pull out all the stops on the snackos for this one. Like Doritos, Coca-Cola, just everything. As a matter of fact... A matter of a fact, let's celebrate. Cheers, boys. Cheers. I know it ain't quite one month yet of this YouTube channel, but let's celebrate one month for the sakes of it. Cheers. All right. Ah, the sweet, sweet flavor of good content, right? Right? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm super hyped for this one. All right, is it a sniper rifle? No, so that's why I call it a snipery rifle because it's not a sniper rifle, it doesn't have the same, quite the same performance, but it is fun. It is just so much fun. It is a fun blaster. There is one thing I didn't mention in my intro and that was the grip. So let's start off with the grip. You either love it or you hate it. Honestly, I freaking love it. I do really enjoy this grip. It is just, it's a really nice grip. You have a great, comfortable spot for your thumb. Your fingers just wrap around real nicely. I mean, yeah, it's just, I, I like the grip. But you might not, so just keep that in mind. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody, but great grip. 
The paint is good. They did both sides, which is something we don't see very often anymore, is both side paint job. And let's be honest. This is a Nerf blaster worth simping for, boys. We be simping. I be simping for this thing. Jeez Louise. I freaking love it. I 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 love it. Just like a can of Coke. And to all you folks who like Pepsi, I don't mind Pepsi either. If you like Pepsi, enjoy the Pepsi. Bye. I, I, I go with Coke. Uh, anyway. Oh. Very, very reliable, very durable, lots of fun. Yeah, this is uh, definitely one I would, it's, it's, mm, is it Nerf ba battle worthy? Yeah, you could, but honestly, I'd rather just put this thing on the wall. Honestly, it's more of a piece of art. It's a piece of art. It's a piece of art, and it's it fills me with the nostalgia just looking at one of these. It's like, oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think that's it for this video. I really do think, I think I covered everything. Did I cover everything? Yes, I did. Let's see. Yeah, yes, I did. I covered everything. Great, sweet, wonderful. If you enjoyed this review of the Long Strike CS6, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't, don't give me a thumbs down. Just comment. You suck. You're such a nerd. Oh my gosh, it's so much better. Oh, there's a modulus one out now. Why didn't you buy that? Uh. Feel free. I mean, go right ahead. But on it, you'll never, you'll, you won't stop my love of this thing. So complain on bitch all you want, but this boy ain't gonna stop loving the long strike. Let's put it that way. I need a, I need a shirt that says "Long Strike Nerds" or something. That'd be cool. I mean. The bear, the bear, the bear gives it a thumbs up. So why won't you? <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. We're going to action figures in the next video. So stay tuned for some radical figures. Peace out.